Welcome back to our ninth episode. The 2000s, in many ways, brought about much devastation for Sri Lanka and for Rockland. For the Rockland family, it was a sad start to the decade. Carl, who had played a monumental role for over seven decades at Rockland, retired as chairman at the start of the decade. Then, shortly after his retirement, Rockland's beloved founding chairman died at the age of 90. Carl steadily navigated the company for over seven decades on a pioneering and incredible journey that paved the way for innovation and growth both for the company and the industry. His son Derek took over the role of chairman and Derek, together with Trevor, steered the company to new heights. Things seemed on a steady course and operations were running smoothly until 2004. That year, when the devastating waves of the tsunami hit the island shores, it was nothing like what the islanders have witnessed or experienced before in history. Its impact was heartbreaking and nothing could have prepared the islanders for such wreckage. The monstrous waves did not spare Rockland and it was once more a time that tested the company. Egudu Uyana, where Rockland's bottling plant was located, was destroyed that fateful Sunday morning. But thankfully, the staff were safe. As the plant was closed when the waves hit that day, their safety, above all else, gave a profound sense of gratitude in the face of the massive infrastructure loss Rockland faced. The devastation of the bottling plant brought about an existential crisis for the company. With the plant now destroyed, it could not operate. For Derek and Trevor, having carried Rockland through many a crisis together, the destruction of the plant seemed like one disaster too many. Did it make sense to rebuild the business yet another time? Derek's sons, Amal and Devinda, understanding the gravity of the situation, stepped forward to infuse much needed new blood and energy to the business at this critical juncture. A determined Derek, together with his sons, Amal and Devinda, held a special meeting of all the staff at Rockland and very frankly described the grave situation of the business. The plea was heartfelt and the staff believed in the leadership. Thanks to the concerted efforts of Rockland's engineers and staff, the plant was able to function again. Though in a makeshift state within three months of the disaster. But there were further obstacles. Since Sri Lanka had never experienced a tsunami, no one was insured against tsunami damage. Fortunately for Rockland, after their bitter experience of the fire at the Margalkanda distillery, Derek and Trevor had done everything in their power to make the insurance cover for the Egodo Uyana bottling facility as comprehensive as possible. Eventually, all the insurer's requirements were met and the cost of the damage was paid out in full, saving Rockland from what could have been financial ruin. Within a year, all the machinery at the bottling plant had been either repaired or replaced. But even with the capacity of the plant fully restored, it could not keep up with demand. Tune in to find out how Rockland overcame another monumental operational challenge in our final episode.